I'm Josh Townsend, and I'm the Client Success Manager. Hi everybody, I'm Jason Cross, I'm the Technical Account Manager. Okay, so on that note, what is the Client Success Team? We're a team consisting of account managers, technical and uh, client success related, um, along with our director of client experience, Jana Spear. Uh, you know, we're here to try to give our customers a single point of contact and streamline some communications with, with uh, the projects and the services that we're providing to them. You know, over time as we've grown and, and our clients have grown even, you know, they've needed a little uh, additional support with that. Josh has seen that in his five years experience with Plow, so. What is it that you do? Like, what does your day-to-day -day job look like? Yeah, the role kind of sets out a little bit of expectations around reaching out to clients and setting QBRs to make sure that we have a full plan with our clients. Within the client success role, what we have is that direct point of contact has talked about and making sure that we process orders for all of them and giving high level um, kind of technical support to them before we go and reach out to our own internal team to get a project rolling. Your role is new here as well, so why don't you talk to us a little bit about what a technical account manager is? Sure, yeah, you know, I'll be uh, working side by side with Josh performing those uh, client success management uh, job duties, but I'll be taking it a step further and taking my 20 years experience as an infrastructure architect and you know, helping guide customers to new solutions. We're gonna to work together to see what their you know, future goals are with their technology, be it cloud-based, uh, cutting costs, AI, new technology in general. You know, we'll help communicate that with the customer and plow services and vendors um, just to make sure everybody gets the right solution. What is your relationship like with the client since you are more of a technical role? Sure, you know, still green here at Plow, but I, I'm getting in the weeds already. Um, and I think the clients are already feeling the benefits. We're, we're able to talk, you know, on a higher level, get past the sales jargon, get past the support engineer who's thinking, oh man, that's more work, and getting down to what's the solution and how we can get to that with the, uh, the proper solution. So how do you guys work with the client to determine what services they will need? Yeah, a lot of times I'd say it's, it's more looking at exactly the needs of their whole business. So looking at the outline of the whole um, from top to bottom of their business and what we can provide and what our partners provide and making sure that everything fits them, not looking to push the envelope on something they don't need or f spending money that they don't have. Most of the time we're trying to save these people money. We're trying to make sure their business runs more efficiently. We're oftentimes looking at what's next in their industry too. Do they need to be considering maybe a SIM solution because it's gonna end up being required within their their, uh, their industry and, and we don't want them to get caught off guard, right? Uh, cybersecurity, all those things are playing into this and you know it allows us to talk to our customers about what's the future for them with services through Plow and, and just technology in general. And having a wide variety of customers that we have as well allows us to see what other customers are doing and figuring out, oh, this may actually work for this client. and. We've already got the projects kind of built out, so those services through Plow are always like a good plus to move between each of our clients. So how does your team define success? I mean, overall happiness of the customer is obviously the main thing we're looking for. But that comes through all the small things like ticket SLAs or project completion time on date or just general like happiness around how well we did with a ticket, like if we answered them the correct answer. Um, it, and it's also just simplicity of, hey, we need 10 extra licenses. They send it to us, we move it through the system, boom, 10 licenses in their portal. They're not having to try to chase down, well, is this uh, the, the support team or is this the cloud team or who, who do I go to? They know they can send it to us, we're gonna push it along, move it through the channel. What are some of the goals from this team in the coming years? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to kick off Q3 with some QBRs for some of our larger customers, and that's really just you know we're gonna, we're gonna try to help them understand what they're benefiting from with Plow to date, what else we could help them with, um, and you know ultimately what's their goal with technology in general, because you've got a plan ahead. Um, you can't change from on-prem to cloud in six months. It's not really feasible. You know you've got to think futuristic. What's your two, three, four, five-year goal with your technology and start moving towards it gradually. You know, making a bad decision on a technology solution today 
could set the next three to five years um, of, of your company with that solution, right? And not many people want to replace the service too soon. You know, getting the best bang of your buck, all those things. Yeah, I'd say one of my goals is just building that relationship with some of these clients in a different way than I've done in the past. A lot of times it was just kind of quick, like, response to what they need at the time. Now it's kind of more forward thinking, as Jason just suggested. It's kind of setting that expectation of we're going to figure out what we should be doing here in the future and how we can help you best. Perfect. All right, so. thank you guys.